here is the script. This is how you are going to make IPv6 proxies. So once you have the script and it is uploaded to the server, you can see these two files. And the first thing you have to do is chmod777 and config and menu. And then you will run this first time. The uh, configuration, this will be just first time. Once you hit enter, it will start uh, doing the configuration, installing the uh, proxy server and uh, also the default ACLs and all that. So once it's done, it's, it, it, it takes just a few, uh, few seconds or few minutes, depending on the uh, speed of your server and the RAM. Uh, and remember that the more, uh, if you want to create more and more proxies, you will have to have more efficient hardware. So this is it. Once this is done, it also says after, uh, you know, uh, please log out the server and then log in again. So you have to log out and log in again in order to have the changes to take effect. Okay, so uh, since I, I have already done that, so I'll be just going through this. And then I'll be running this uh, menu, right? And then I'll be generating the proxies. So before that, uh, I'll add the uh, IP address. It will ask you for the IPv4 address of your server. And once you enter the IPv4 address of your server, it will ask you uh, for the prefix of uh, ask you for the prefix of your IPv6 and I have already copied that I have pasted it over here and make sure that uh, before running the script make sure that you have properly configured your server and you have made uh, uh, you have uh, also binded the IPv6 gateway and also uh, by just making sure that you are able to uh, access um, ping one of the IP addresses just for test purpose and then proceed with this script so what now here I am just creating for the test purpose I'll create say uh, uh, I'll create just two users with 100 proxies or 50 proxies so uh, let's say uh, I'm going to create 50 proxies so that's it it's creating the user and assigning the proxies to that user so this is actually the user and this is it's this is the user's password okay once it's done uh, now you go to uh, apply the changes right with option 3 it's done then you go to the browser and open the browser and just give the it's asking for the username and password so uh, since we you should know the username and password right so we have this user there is another easy way I'll show you later so once you have this username and password Sign in, and then you go to what is my IP address, and you will see the IPv6. You have this IPv6, and it will tell you that IPv4 is not detected, right? And same way, uh, if you change the proxies, the IPv address 6 will change, and you just have to change the port. If, for example, I added, I'm just giving the random right why because it starts from 10,000 and then it will end at 10,050 and it will again ask me for the username and password and password I have already copied now I'll copy the username over here and now you should be able to see a different IP v6 and ipv4 is not detected that's it so there are some other options as well i will demonstrate them 
uh, for you in a in a detailed video you can watch that on my youtube tutorial thank you